<laughs> Good girls. Oh, it's freaking cold in here today. Slowly but surely. What's up guys? Liam here. Hang on, hang on, there we go. And welcome, come on, hang on. Focus. Back <laughs> to LSJ TV. I hope you guys are having a good day, good night, good evening, whatever time of day you happen to be watching this. And I hope you guys are smashing 2019. If you are excited for today's walkthrough, yes, that's right guys, we are going through a good old fashioned freaking walkthrough. Something I've not done for about two or three weeks now, which is a long time for me. If you are excited, drop a like, comment down below, subscribe if you are new. And let's get it started. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't wanna waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us. And love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah, no, I don't wanna waste what's left. And a shocking last rep, but solid set of eight on the first session back. Not bad. Focus. Come on. Ed wasn't in it. Ed wasn't in that from the start. I don't know what happened there. Shit. So 90 for today, remember this is my first real session back for 2019 to be really kind of pushing myself. We went straight in for the 90 kilos on the bench. Eight reps, first set, brilliant. On a massive high, had a minute's rest, not gonna lie. Sat back down and my head just wasn't in it. I thought, oh my God, I'm, I'm zapped here. My, I've got nothing left, my freaking my chest feels pumped, it feels great, but oh my god, there's nothing left in there, I can't push this. I got to like six and that was it, so I thought, right, okay, first session back. Relax, Liam, relax. Take a step back, think about what the hell's going on, and do something about it, okay? So we drop the weight down to 87.5 kilos. 20, 10, 2.5, 1.25. The reason being, right, and being strict myself, in the past if it wasn't my day and I wasn't hitting the numbers I expected to, I would just drop it right down and rep it out, rep it out, rep it out. 
So what I decided to do instead today was stick with what I originally said I was going to do, but as close to it as possible, because if it wasn't my day, then I would just kind of completely change it altogether, you know? I would change the routine, I would change the rep ranges I'm doing, just do a completely different workout. So, what I decided to do today was just drop it, but by 2.5 kilos. In the past, I would have dropped it back down to 80 kilos, back down to 70, 60, and just repped and repped and repped and repped and repped until I couldn't really do any more. What I'm trying to do today and for the foreseeable future is stick to the plan as much as I possibly can. On a scale of one to 10, how hard was this? If I need to be at an eight, I'll pick the weight for the day that's at an eight rather than dropping it back down to a six and just kind of going to failure. You know, the pump feels great if you do that, but it's not necessarily the best way for me to achieve what I want to achieve, to put some size on the chest, etc., etc. you know? So that's what I did today. We got to eight on 87.5 on the third set. So that's it for flat barbell today. We'll, we'll, we'll kind of take that, move forwards, make sure we progress with it next week. But I'm trying to be, I'm trying to not be so stubborn and, and do some more. But no, we need to move on. We need to have a good session, and we're going to make it happen. Sometimes all it takes is just a little bit of warming up, a little bit of getting back into it. Take your time, let it flow, stick through the routine, and boom, we're back in the game. On we'll go. Finding life along the way, melodies we haven't played. And now I don't It's all well and good me saying to freaking stick to the plan and all that kind of stuff, you'll see the results, which you will. However, when you have a certain amount of time off, when you come back, you're not gonna be exactly the same. Doesn't matter how long you've been training, if you've been training for 10, 20, 30 years, you have a couple of weeks off, or however long it may be, or even a few days could affect someone in the same way. That small amount of time off, you're gonna have to have like an introductory kind of session to get back into it. And so what I've had to do today is reduce the weight on the bench, Actually, my incline w was the same, if not increased. Um, but then when it comes to stuff like shoulder press later on through the plan, even though shoulder press is my strongest lift, um, the strength and the, 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 the more endurance side of things just isn't really there because I'm, I'm kind of gassed. Um, and it's not mental because I'm telling myself, I'm psyching myself up before every single set. Um, but I get halfway through, and there's just nothing left. I'm trying to say it's not a mental thing, but it is. I'm kind of getting halfway through and I'm like, oh my God, I'm getting tired. I'm getting tired, I'm trying to battle through it. Um, so it could just be a, com it's a combination between having a little bit of time off and, and a confidence thing, I think. So we're gonna build that back up um, over the next few weeks, over the next few videos. Um, and I'm excited to show you guys. Let's smash the rest of this session. Why am I talking like a weirdo? And we'll grow in number Fueled by thunder See the horizon Turn us to thousands And we'll grow in number Fueled by thunder See the horizon Turn us to thousands <clears throat> Come on, six Seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, I don't want to change the plan too much. I don't want to be losing too much strength. I don't want to also be losing too much weight because, you know, I, I'm at a kind of sticking point right now where I want to be shoulder pressing 100 kilos, right? That is going to take a long time. Um, but bearing in mind, we just did 60 for kind of three sets, 60 kilos for three sets. Halfway through the workout after heavy bench, like incline heavy as well. 
you know, the shoulders are pretty gassed by this point in time and, and we've done three sets on 60 kilos. You know, if we're fresh at the start of the session and we're training to hit that 100 kilos, then we can freaking do it, man. We can smash it. I also wanted to say thank you to you guys for your support on the last video. I mentioned you guys in the video um, quite a lot and your support and the fact that we use the kind of comment section as like a little hub for everyone to kind of ask for advice. And it just made me so happy that after I published that video that it, it went down well and you guys kind of responded to it. Um, you know, still getting involved in the comment section like you normally would. Um, because that is exactly what I wanted for this platform. I want this platform to be a positive place. I want this platform to be something that people can go to. If, if, if they feel like they need help, then they can come to one of my videos because that is a positive, it, I like to think that I'm you know, a pretty positive guy. I, I like to think that I see the bright side in, in everything. I, I try and find a teeny, teeny, tiny little thing. Sometimes it might take me a little while, but if that is the case, then we, we more often than not do still find something, you know? I like to think that this channel, this kind of little community that we've built together, I like to think that that can be something that can help people. I like to think that people can come here and feel comfortable, feel safe, feel like they can talk about something. Because people, it's something that people don't do enough. And coming into 2019, if you feel like you do need to talk to somebody, let me be that guy. Let that comment section be that guy, that, that, that person, that thing that you, you, you come to for advice. Because I'll tell you what, people in the comment section, some of the best people you'll ever meet in your freaking life. Okay, those people that comment week in week out every single video that watch that like that comment that subscribe Everything if even if you're watching I know you've considered it right the people that watch this channel want to be positive They want to be helpful. They want to help one another. They want to help me They want to help you watching this if you have a problem stick it in the freaking comment section Someone will respond to you and someone will help you out That is what is so amazing and that is exactly what I want to progress in 2019 That is what we have built over the last two, three years, slowly but surely. And it's only gonna get better in 2019. You guys, you guys make this. You know, I, I, I make the videos, but at the end of the day, if you guys weren't watching, weren't commenting, and weren't enjoying what I was doing, then it just wouldn't be happening, you know? And the fact that something is happening, people are responding, people are helping each other out, that is what keeps me moving forwards, you know? The possibilities with this, not only for myself, but for you guys, are endless as well. And it just makes me so happy, so freaking gassed, so buzzing, excited, scared, nervous, you know? Everything in between that, nervous, excited, happy, those feelings run through my head every single day because of this, right? Because of whether it be a teeny tiny thing on an Instagram post or a comment on, on, on a YouTube video or something. Something positive happens every single day without fail because of this. And I want that to happen more and more and more, right? Because if this channel can help one person, every single video, one person, as cliche as it sounds, then tick, Mission accomplished, you know? It just makes me feel so good. And I hope it does you guys too, because what I've envisioned for this channel for years is freedom. To allow people to feel free, even for just that little bit of time whilst they're watching it, whilst I'm making the video, you know? I feel free, I feel content, I feel happy. And I want that to be spread all across the world. And in 2019, we can freaking do that. Mark my words. Together, we will grow. Ah, I get so hyped up whenever I pull a camera out, man. There's just something about this, the positivity that it can bring into someone's life, into my life in particular, to be, to be honest with you guys. Doing this just makes me so happy. And the fact that doing it can also make other people happy as well and, and help them and, and, and they can help me. In, in, I feel like I'm just repeating myself, I'm just rambling, but you know, good vibes. Good vibes all round. Thank you guys so much for your support all through 2018 and I know that 2018 is gonna be even bigger and even freaking better. I have so many 
plans to talk to you guys about. We've got travel plans, LSJ plans. <laughs> I really want to tell you guys, but it will kind of spoil the surprise. I'm, I'm thinking about something, but it will take months to kind of put together. So, if you have enjoyed today's video, that is going to be it. I've rumbled enough. If you have enjoyed it, please drop a like and a comment down below. Let's get that chat going like I always freaking love, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I hope you have enjoyed my first proper session back. I'm still going to go after I, I, I finish with this. Like, that's not the whole session. But I hope you have enjoyed seeing little snippets of my first session back in 2018 because I have freaking enjoyed recording it. That is for sure. Once more, please drop a like, drop a comment down below. Subscribe if you are new. Thank you so much for tuning in today, guys. It means the freaking world to me. You have no idea. Together, we will grow. And I will see you in the next one. Yes.